Give your lawn a fresh look with sod, also known as turf. To get the job done, here's what you'll need. If you don't have a rototiller, you can rent one from the Home Depot's Tool Rental Center. Before buying sod, you want to start by testing your soil with a moisture meter and pH tester. Well aerated soil should have a pH level that's more acidic than not, typically between 6 and 7.5. Measure the area you plan to treat, so that you have enough sod to work with. You'll likely need a few extra pieces to fit around corners. Then, use a rototiller to loosen the soil to a depth of 6 to 8 inches. Till in about 2 or 3 inches of organic matter, like fertilizer or lime depending on your test results. Doing so will improve your aeration and water retention. If you choose not to add organic matter into your soil, you'll still need to level it to about an inch below the grade of paved areas like sidewalks and driveways, using either a shovel or rake. Also be sure to water the soil no less than 48 hours before installing sod. Begin laying your sod down along a straight edge. Lay one whole section down at a time, end to end, patting it down to flatten out any air pockets. Avoid stepping on it and rake out any footprints in case you do. After the first row has been laid down, start the second row. Take a new piece and use your knife to cut it in half. Then lay it down next to the first row. Stagger the joints like you would when laying down bricks. Make sure the edges are tight but don't overlap and that they are flattened so that no soil is exposed. If you have small pieces of sod, use them to fill any gaps in your lawn. Don't use these smaller pieces on the outer edges of your lawn, since they may shrink and die. Use your lawn edger to cut curves, and your carpet knife to slice openings around irrigation heads and other protrusions. Fill in seams, using topsoil or potting soil and a push broom. But don't lift up loose turf edges. Lastly, use a lawn roller to push sod roots into the soil. Now that you know the basics of laying turf, it's time to focus on maintenance. During the first week, water sod three times a day, but cut back if mushrooms sprout, which can happen if you water after the sun has gone down. After that, begin tapering off to just twice a week, giving it an inch of water depending on weather. Wait a week and a half before mowing your lawn, using a push mower with a sharp blade. Don't leave grass clippings behind. Last but not least, apply a starter fertilizer. Wait about three or four weeks to ensure you're replenishing nutrients lost to consistent watering. Look forward to the grass being greener on your side of the fence. And thank you for shopping at the Home Depot.